Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another prediction video. Now, the predictions for match day 2 of Euro 2020, yes, the ones I haven't finished yet, but as I said in the first uh, video that I did when I was doing these, I am going to have to do them early, so I'm doing them now. Hope you guys are enjoying the tournament. Um, while, while we're here, just want to say a get well soon to Christian Eriksen who picked up that horrific drop in the game against Finland. I don't think it should have been played, but there you go, they decided to play it and, you know, Finland came out on top. M maybe wish a draw for that game or, you know, with Denmark, but it didn't happen. But anyway, we've got to move on, so guys, you know what to do. You're going to a big fat thumbs up, you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Let's go. So the first game is Finland versus Russia. As I said, Finland did beat Denmark in that horrific game. I really don't like the fact of, you know, that game went ahead, as I just said. But, you know, it did go ahead. Finland did win that one. Uh, Russia lost. Uh, yeah, that's right. I can't remember quite where they did what we found out in a minute. Anyway. But, yeah. It's going to be a very interesting game. Russia need the three points to even think about, you know, qualifying through to the next round. Um, last 16. But, I don't think it's going to happen. I think this game will be a point apiece. And I'll go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. Next one is Turkey versus Wales. Turkey versus Wales. Hmm, pretty interesting game. Wales were lucky to get a point at the last, uh, you know, game. I'm really am expecting more of a tougher fight from Wales this time around. Turkey on the other hand, I think they won their last game. I'm trying to remember who they played. No, they didn't. No, because they played, yeah, they played Turkey, so, no, they played Italy, sorry. So they didn't win their last game. So I'm going to go for a Wales win. And I'm going to go for a 1-0 Wales win. Could Turkey be the first team out of Euro 2020? The next one is Italy versus Switzerland. Switzerland and Jay are called them by their right name. If you don't know about that one, go back check the other video. I might try to get out to that prediction and then you'll understand why I'm saying that. Italy looked very strong going into this game. Very strong indeed. Switzerland, can I see them getting a point? Can I see them? Um, see, they need to win. So, so it's another really dead heat situation because... If Switzerland lose, they drew to Wales, but then if Wales win, that be so risk could really be down a dog fight when the Tur when Turkey plays Switzerland. I'm going to stick up for Italian win though, and I'm going to go for a three nil Italy win. Next one is Ukraine versus uh, North Moldova. North Moldova, I think that's how you pronounce it. Currently playing now. I can't remember. Right, so yeah. Um, we're playing Austria as I'm recording this. As far as what I knew, they, the game was 1-1. Am I going to think it's going to make much of a difference to this game? No. Ukraine win hands down. And I'll go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. Next one, very interesting, Denmark versus Belgium. Now I mentioned this at the top of the video about Christian Eriksen. I hope you get well soon, Christian. I remember when it happened to Fabrice Maramba. It was obviously a few more years ago. I was quite young at the time. Uh, so yeah, it was, you know, it was a few years past. I don't like seeing it. TV could have probably done a bit better, but I don't put all the blame on the BBC. Because it's your AFA's protocol, so basically BBC is like a sitting duck with your AFA in this competition. But I do blame your AFA, maybe should have done a bit more, you know, to cut the cameras, getting back to the studio, and you know, let the doctors and everyone else do their work. But yeah, please get well soon, Christian Eriksen. Going up against Belgium. Now, this game, as I said, is going to be very interesting. For the more lights of, you know, you got Belgium who did win their last game. I can't remember who they but I knew Bel yeah, so Belgium beat Russia. They might need to win this game now. But do I think Denmark's gotta be in the right frame of mind? 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna have to stick up for Belgium win. And I'm gonna go for a 2 now Belgium win. Next one is Netherlands versus Austria. As I said, Austria are currently playing Moldova as I'm recording this. Netherlands go up against Ukraine later on tonight. That game's going to be very interesting. I'm going to sit down and enjoy that one. So I'm going to call it that. So Netherlands, Austria. What way do I call this one? I'm going to go for a Netherlands win. Pretty much hands down. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Netherlands win. Next one is Swindon versus Slovakia. Swindon... Um, Switzerland, sorry, that's what I'm thinking wrong, not uh, sw uh, the other one, Switzerland. Um, I can't remember how I got in the last game, but playing Slovakia, I think these two might still have to actually play, because they're in Group E, so they would be tomorrow. Uh, so, without too much pre-guessing, I'm going to go for a Sweden win, yeah, I said it, Sweden. And I'm going to go for a 3-1 Sweden win. Next one. Now, the Scotland and Czech Republic do not play till tomorrow as I'm recording this. But, you know, Tony might be watching this. You might have seen all the games. It might be 16th of June. And, you know, it might be early in the morning. And, you know, you want something to watch. So, you know, there is that bit to it. But as I'm recording this, they have not played uh, Czech Republic and Scotland. Obviously, great result for England against Croatia. I'm going to go for a Croatia win, though, against the Czech Republic. If you remember my group table prediction, if you haven't, I'll put it up at the end of this video as well. But I'm going to go for a Croatia win, and I'm going to go for a 1 0 Croatia win. Next one is the big one for England versus Scotland fans. Now, as I said, a great result for England. Proud of the boys, proud of the performance. You know, I really did enjoy the performance. I just wish Phil Foden had scored that goal early in the game against Croatia. Unfortunately, it didn't happen, but England still won the game, which means, you know, we still got three points, which is most important. For this game, I'm going to stick up for England. Obviously, it's where I'm from. I'm from England. I'm nowhere near the Scottish border. I'm more closer than the Welsh border than what I am Scotland. But yeah, I'm going to stick up for an England win and I'm going to go for a comfortable 2-0 England win for that one. Next one is Hungary versus France. Hungary and France have still not played yet, I don't think, as I'm recording this. But I'm going to stick up for a French win anyway. And I'm going to stick up for a 3-0 France win for that one. The next one, now this game I really do want to sit down and watch on the 19th of June. Portugal versus Germany. Yes, it's, as I've said, I don't think none of these teams play yet. I think they'll play uh, tomorrow as I'm recording this. Or if it's not tomorrow, then it'll be Tuesday. But I think it is tomorrow, both, both, uh, all four of these countries play. So, Portugal and Germany. What way do I call this one? I think I'm going to stick up for a Portugal win. Or, no, actually I'm going to go for a draw and I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My last one is Spain versus Poland. Spain should win this one hands down, if I'm being honest. But the, po the Polish, are, I, think they, I think Poland might play, I'm not too sure. But never under, underestimate someone like Poland. I'm going to go for a draw for that one as well, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do if you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.